Seat Chair Ronnie McDaniel has a good sense of humor about these sort of things and patience as well. Ronnie, very good to have you. Thanks for coming. Well, thanks for having me, Neil. All right, let's talk a little bit about John Thune and what he outlined and Republicans want to do. Get something out there by Friday that obviously woos more senators uh, and gets, uh, you know, a better kind of a read from the CBO before July 4th. So soon afterwards, they can they can vote on that uh, aggressive timetable doable. What do you think? Uh, I think it's doable. I, I was with many of the senators yesterday. There is a sincere um, effort among the Senate to get this uh, ball rolling, and there's a recognition that people are really hurting, and they're looking to Republicans right now to to help um, bring relief to people whose premiums are going up, who have insurance uh, agencies pulling out of their marketplaces. Uh, this is a real problem. So we have to get this done. It's something we ran on. We have majority in the Senate and the House and the White House. Uh, and we have to deliver. Um, how much do Republicans pay attention? And there are more protests, for example, around on Capitol Hill today. Uh, and, and again, the argument being that Republicans are out to destroy health care, kill hundreds of thousands of people. I mean, how do you counter these arguments that many in the press don't even try to check out, challenge, fact check, you name it? Well, I think we always have to remember the evolution of how we got here. It was the Democrats passing a bill, 30,000 pages of legislation with no Republican input. They said you can keep your doctor. Many people couldn't keep their doctor. They said you can keep your plan. That hasn't happened. Premiums have risen. They said it was going to be affordable. Now you have insurance uh, companies pulling out of marketplaces. Obamacare is failing. And we got here because Democrats put something in place that wasn't sustainable, probably with the hope that we would end up with a single payer. So how system. do you feel that so if you're right about citing all these problems with the Affordable Care Act, that it's not affordable, that it's, it's falling of its own weight just mathematically, uh, but yet re Republicans and their plan hasn't even lower approval rate, only 17%. How did that happen? How do you counter that? Well, the plan's not fully out there yet, but what voters need to know is Republicans are working to make sure that the patient-doctor relationship's restored. We want to put coverage closer to uh, the voters, closer to the they're patient. not getting that message. They're not getting that message. So I'm wondering, like, what do you do to counter well, I come on your show, and we've got to talk about it. We Good have move. to get that out there. I mean, voters need to know uh, that Republicans are working hard to solve this problem. Democrats are sitting on the sidelines. They helped. They created this problem, and they're not helping. But we recognize that people are looking for relief. Um, part of the reason we were elected is because people were hurting. I, I see it all the time. I go home to Michigan. I run into people. They say, my premiums have doubled. My deductibles are so high. I may have health insurance, but I don't have health care. Um, I am afraid right now. I'm making choices between do I pay my health insurance or do I pay for They're not the only ones, right? The money guys, the people who, who fuel the Republican Party, are they getting nervous? Or are they holding off until this thing is resolved. I know the president will have a big fundraiser tonight uh, just down the street in, in Washington, uh, and he's had no problem raising money, period. But, but do you worry that this is going to cause some to sit on their hands until they see more legislative wins here? I think Republicans are focused solely on the people who are hurting right now, who recognize that the system's collapsing, uh, that people in the near future are not going to have any choice in the marketplace. We've seen these states where they have one insurer left, premiums are going to go up by, in some cases, up to 43 percent. It's not sustainable for a family to have suddenly 200 more dollars added to their monthly um, bill. They can't do it. We have to find relief for these families. They elected us to do it. It'd be great if Democrats would come along and help. It'd be great if we could find a way to work together and not make this a political football. It'd it's unfortunate that Democrats have no interest in solving a problem they created, but Republicans are committed to it. We, we recognize the urgency. We recognize that people uh, are, are looking to us to find relief. Well, do you think